party and roll up. He's not happy about that. <laughs> He's not okay with it. He's like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, man. Good morning, Joseph. Good afternoon, Conrad. And good evening, Stan Bam. Welcome to the GMAE show. Today. Let's get it, guys. It's August 1st, 2022. Local time is 8.05 p.m. What's up, everybody? You know, it may not be 8.05 p.m. where you are. It might be August 2nd, 2022, where you are. If you're joining us in the Asia Pacific region, good morning. Joining us in India. If you're joining us in Africa, Europe, all good mornings to you. And good evening for those of you joining us in North and South America right now. Everybody, we're having a good time. Is it like afternoon? Is it still morning? Morning in Indonesia. Thank you. Antika Sebastian you letting us know that I'm still on the maths with that. Chat, we got a lot of stuff going on. It's a Monday. That usually means it's a news day. We got a couple of pieces to talk about before we get started playing your games. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you five days a week on this show on YouTube, DLive, Theta, Facebook, Twitter.com slash The Sandbox Game, and on Twitch.tv, where many of you are already watching. We play the games that you create inside the Sandbox Game Maker on this show. If you're joining with us live, I turn off the smooth jazz, and I talk to you about <laughs> the fact that we give away an NFT on this show every single episode of this show. Right. Earlier today, you saw an exclusive NFT on the Panda Pop show. We have a new edition of the Wizzy themed hats that you can win on this show that help improve your combat based experiences in the sandbox game metaverse or in the sandbox game maker gallery. As long as it is a combat based experience, you can wear the NFT that we will give away later on this show. What up, Goaty Fish in the chat? I don't know, we got no, three. No beans yet, patio. No, no beans yet, patio, but we did get three new things that came out from the sandbox game today. Some of these. Our sandbox partner news that is associated with the metaverse. Some are direct sandbox news. First, if you're a holder of the at Bushido's NFT, NFT, you'll be able to claim a VX sacred Daito on our claim page right now. Go to sandbox.game slash en slash me slash claim or click the avatar you have in the top right of the screen and go to your claim section. If you have one of those NFTs, you can claim this sword inside to your inventory for the metaverse, for the use uh, in those combat-based experiences, just like the Wizzy themed NFT we'll give away later. Also, at D-O-A-S-I-S-C-I-T-Y, D-O-A-S-I-S City, said earlier today, a huge step from Asia, D.O-A-S-I-S, together with at Human X Club NFT and 30 corporate partners plus 25 KOLs from Thailand are entering the sandbox game. If you're interested in watching the global expansion of the Sandbox Game Metaverse, check them out. Like Once again, you can follow them at, at DOASISCITY, all as one word, on Twitter for more information about the future of the Metaverse coming out of Thailand. I know we have some folks in the chat who watch us on almost every show from Thailand, so uh, go check them out and see what they got going on. Then, posted earlier today as one of the finest examples, in my opinion, of the expansion of the metaverse and how it becomes more decentralized for all of the functions that it is. At Sandstorm Meetup tweeted earlier today. Today we're excited to announce build proposals and are live, excuse me, build proposals are live on our platform. We've been building this for months and for the first time, hashtag metaverse builders can bid on new projects, direct messages with brands, and get hired for builds. Okay. Okay. The link I'm into it. to this, Conrad, if you could pull up at Sandstorm Meetup on Twitter and put the link in there, because I had to send it oh, from yeah. one PC to another. But uh, already this is sandstorm.co slash build hyphen proposals hyphen r hyphen live. Here's a, a lot of hyphens. Guys. A lot of hyphens. Thank you so you much. Check Appreciate out that, it. That tweet. Also, here is the direct link for everybody in the chat as well. Super hype about this because this once again showcases what the sandbox is, 
has become and will continue to become as time goes along. Uh, if you guys didn't get to join us at NFT NYC, or you're not going to get a chance to join us at our presence in Montreal in October, um, you will know that Partner Studios represent the sandbox game in a lot of these uh, locations, in a lot of these conferences all over the world. Uh, I saw some that uh, Seb was sharing last week. I think maybe they're still ongoing, but uh, Pangu uh, Studios are creating like uh, physicals uh, for things from the sandbox game. Uh, they gave Seb a couple of little like statues, one representing him and I think one representing Arthur uh, for that. But they were also on the show floor as part of the sandbox uh, booths or interoperable booths, essentially, right? Like our partners are becoming our booths because they are. Uh, such substantial companies in and of themselves. Uh, so this is a really good example of that uh, as it continues to build, grow, become a sort of a guild, but also so much more. Uh, really excited to see this from the at Sandstorm meetup. So congratulations to you folks. And Conrad, we had some games that were proposed. Uh, this is what we do every day, right? We play your games. We try to help you improve right, right. the quality of those games, get them ready for the metaverse or for game jam competitions. I had Roxy Miguel. Uh, messaged me earlier about a game that I put in the title, and we're going to play me this well. one coming up first. Very good. Good. I'm glad that they messaged yeah. you as well. They know where to go. You know what I mean? They know where to go. Right. They got in the DMs. If you guys need the help, we're available. That's right. And so we're playing this experience uh, at their request, but this was one of the top five in the Voxodeus game jam. Now, uh, as I mentioned on previous shows, I'm going to mention it again here. When you submit your games, you can submit it at any stage of development. If it is something where you barely just started and you don't know where to go, you can submit a request for us to play it live. We'll give you that feedback. If you can't join us live and you want to submit that request, you can at myself or Conrad. You can see it in the title at the Vision EX or at RadConDad. Send us a message uh, or tag us on Twitter and say, hey, please play this game and we'll add it to the list. Of experiences we're testing and then we'll give you the feedback if you can't join us live that's okay because you'll be able to watch it later on youtube but these experiences that are being played here uh, are for the interest of you and building a better product for you so i'm going to play it as much as i can like it's the first time i've ever played and then i'm also going to try to play it like i am five years old i like to say right which is fast quickly but also, uh, I'll highlight if you made any grammatical mistakes, because almost like half of our developers that are out there are not English first or more, not English first speakers. So we'll try to help you with those as much as we can as well. All right, Conrad, what page have we got for this experience today? Oh, Do you let's know? pull it up there. I was just All getting right. some, some new games on the list here. Oh, very good. Thank you. I might be able to find it here. I still have the whole Vox a Day's list pulled. Um, and this particular oh, yeah, experience, I was, I was going for that one, is the a, a forbidden, solid one. All the to call. the forbidden far. Forbidden okay, far. and That's it was right. on forty eight, forty nine. I see it here. So we'll see if uh, it's probably going to be around page, you know, fifty five or so at this point. But uh, as we get a lot of new entrants put in here, we'll pull it up here and see what we can do. So chat, what'd you do today? What was your favorite thing you did today? You guys building anything? I see that's the carnival was submitted there by King of Crypto. We put it in the list. Oh yeah. We're gonna get to that one. That one looks like a lot of fun. Anything crypto puts out, I always like. Oh man, where are we at here? What do we got? We're going nine A seven A. Trying to find this call some... to the Forbidden Far. While you're doing that, um, not quite on this page. <clears throat> While you're doing that, um, IT over on YouTube says, uh, hello, it's a pity yes. that the issue with the gasless transaction hasn't been resolved yet. And once again, that one is on the, the staking rewards, Joseph, where we normally get our 10 free transactions. Well, there's still something going on with the Polygon Bridge, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so you can actually, you still bypass that, right? Yeah, you, well, sort of, you don't get the gasless transaction because that is a third party partner that we're working with to make that possible in the first place. Um, okay. so essentially how it works is that 
Uh, this third party partner translates your gas fee instead of doing it in Matic, they do it in sand, and then we pay that cost. Uh, but there it was an issue with it uh, as we are issuing updates and getting ready to move different and continued products over to the Polygon network. We had moved the token over just a while ago, we moved the lands over a while ago. We're working on the assets, and then we have to work on avatars as well. Uh, so there's a lot of different kinds of integrations that are happening at the same time as working on season three and those processes. Uh, so really, it's not so much that it is a an overwhelming task, but that the dashboard team wants to make sure that alpha season three is ready for you and in high quality. So that's going to take a priority over um, ultimately, you know, if, if as me, as Joe, right, I, I've processed transactions on there. I know it's about a third of a penny to process a transaction in Matic tokens. So I just process them anyway. Because, um, you know, you, you're, if you're staking, you're going to get a good return on the stacking up the new tokens you've earned, restaking those tokens. In my opinion, that's why I just do it anyway. Um, it is obviously a concern of ours and we want to get it addressed. But at this time, we're going to take probably the Alpha Season 3 as a priority uh, over fixing that just to make sure that uh, everything's ready for you guys for that. All right. So as we're first loading All up right. in this experience, we're pretty isolated and we're faced in the opposite direction. Now, if there's a way to control that, I would attempt to do so. Maybe bring it in a little bit more get you a little bit closer through these canisters so I don't feel like I'm staring off into the void unless that is an aesthetic uh, thing that you want to go for. All right, we got right, some. Right, right. Got to block a couple of couple of YouTube spams. It's so wild. Like, do they get you clicks get off of us? Do they get do they get clicks off of us, guys? Chat, don't click those links. Bro. You don't want that. You you got to assume, right? I guess. All right, how long does it take you to come to work, lazy? Wow. One eye wolf. Wow, Dude. nice name though. Nice name though. Okay. Supposedly your father is a scholar of Luma Systemica, but apparently he needed to be stricter. I never agreed with the way they taught at Luma Systemica. Uh, and besides, I've never had a father. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Okay. Either you don't Steve. like him or, you know, they went out for some milk. Oh, oh, family problems? By the way, what do you need me for? Okay, look, this is the thing. I found an energy mine in 15 minutes. My ship arrives and I need to remove all the energy that is in this mine. Uh, I've already uploaded 36 energy tanks. Upload the rest and that's what I pay you for. That's all? Is the mine safe? Yeah, sure, it's safe. Well, maybe you'll find some problems in the mine, but nothing you can take care of. You, nothing you can't take care of, right? If it's nothing that I can take care of, then this is uh, an ill-fated uh, situation. I'm going to die, probably. But um, Oh, yeah, then, you're doomed. I think that's what yeah. I was being said. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if that's the intention. Usually <laughs> this phrase is said, nothing you can't take care of. All right, I'll right, bring them. Right. All right, so we're going to the mine. Every time they said mine, they put it in quotes. So is this just somebody's like storage unit, and I'm just stealing from it? Is that what's happening? Probably. I think that's what's happening, right? It feels like it. Okay. As I'm coming through this particular uh, installation, I'm noticing that things seem really flat. I'd like to see it be a little bit more dynamic with the world building, right? I understand that there was a time limitation for the Voxadeus game jam, so it makes sense. Uh, but the way that it's built right now, a couple of, you know, a couple of rocks here or there in the sides to give it some depth, make it look a little less Minecrafty. All right. I'm coming through this path. Here we go. Okay, security robot, the sandbox. Intruder detected, intruder detected. A thief has been confirmed. Uh, isn't this supposed to be a gas mine? Okay, first of all, you assume I'm a thief, bro? Why would I do that? Ooh. All right, they gave me a little beat up. They beat me up a little bit. Okay, we get a lot of storage units. So I was right about that. Right about the storage. Bring those energy tanks okay. from the mine. <clears throat> so now, when this was played um, with myself, Alex, and uh, Lucas, we, you know, we got this giant asset, uh, and there's a certain spot where, if you have the music on, um, you would have heard Snoop Dogg right there confirm it for you. 
Okay. Um, and we gotta we have to set it down in a, in a specific spot. We get a one of five here, and of sure. course, you know, we touch down on on you know the kind of blandness of the tunnel here, which is you know unten- unintentional, I imagine, because we did try to spice things up to make it look a little more lived in by adding some of these plants, some of the yeah, water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you gotta you gotta change up some of the the scenery a little bit here. Specific spot is need not needed now. Oh, okay. So our yeah, our dev in the like... chat has done some uh some updates. Yeah, yeah, uh, and it that felt like smooth when I placed it. It didn't seem so particular. I also got okay, healed okay. by the uh, friend, the cat who's doing me, you know, making me do the job. Um, uh, that's the one-eyed wolf. I yes. That's true. It is not a cat. It's a good point. That's a good point. Also, that that was an intentional reference I just made there. He's not a cat. Okay. So we put it down. It's got a nice radius. Ah, it feels good. I'm not a cat. Um, yeah. But but yes. Uh, and and Roxy, our our <clears throat> dev here, uh, is trying to improve on everything here. So this okay, is something so that we were we got a note from the dev here. Here's what uh, I would keep prob- this in mind. Okay. You ready for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep this in mind. It has five different stories, and there are six endings available. Okay. So as I'm bringing these containers up, I'd say one of the notes that I would have is that you could make this seem a little less like a cave by making it look like, and this, this could be relatively quick, make it look like a landing strip, right? Like a place where an airplane would come in or a helicopter would land or something like that. You know, place a helicopter pad over here. And then on the side of the wall right here, somewhere thereabouts, place a something that looks like an elevator. It doesn't have to serve as an elevator, but it would look better if it did. You place the elevator here and then have the elevator be on every level. Even if I have to walk down, have the elevator be on every level. The walls of the elevator there. So that I can get into here and I can grab the thing and come back to here and deposit right. the asset. This was a lot of this, this was a lot of unnecessary usage. Yeah. And we want to be able to reuse space as, you know, as much as possible, but without it looking bland. Right, right. And, <clears throat> and it's also uh so far, while it has been good, it has also been repetitive, right? Like the, the difficulty is going up, but it's predictably going up, if that makes sense. Like, I could go from the, the last room, I had two we're, robots, we're the first round, I had one. Well, that's we're, true. We're, we're that's two true. units in here. That's we, true. We, we always go hypercritical and talk a little bit more about it in depth here. So we're we're not very far in, Joe. Give this, I, the camera angles here, the playability, oof. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing that will kill me till the end of time. Yeah, I think, I mean... I'm okay with the cameras so far, personally, and I like the deposit. That's working great, but it is so far doing. Uh, I would like to see if if we're going to repeat, go back and forth, up and down the same ladders and stuff like that. Then you want to see the world adapt as a result of your stuff, right? If you get the tanks there, uh, maybe as the tank maybe. arrives there. He's maybe your guy that you're trying to get stuff from is also down in this room, pretending like right. he's taking the containers or something like that. And he's like, <clears throat> set it down over there. That way you don't have to run so far. He's like, I'll yeah. take it up, you know. Right, right, you know, like right. Maybe he's got a forklift now. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. Like up at the top, you know, there is a forklift asset. I've seen a lot of people use a forklift asset anyway. I'm probably going to end up dying, Ooh. but I don't think that's oh, it's consequential. Oh, yeah, we got there it. We go. But, if, you know, so, if he had the forklift well, yes. asset up top, it Having, makes sense to have it near, like, if it was going to get exported. How is he going to send it out, right? These are all things right. that are small, but also build the lore of the world. And that's what you really want to do, is build it, build the story in ways that people can infer, and you don't have to necessarily put so much text on, but uh, can help, you know, okay, I'm going to stand here and get healed by the little kitty cat. He's a wolf. He's not a cat. He looks like a cat from behind. This guy. Yep, that's right. He's All right. Definitely... Well, we do have some questions here while we're... All right, uh, that sounds great. Giving Roxy some extra critique. Um, uh, Suti, over on YouTube, says, Will human ex-avatar 
will be used as a reward for season three. Um, Human X like Clone X? I think so. I'm trying to figure this out here because Q Clone X um, is... I believe that was in reference to, to Clone X. Okay. Yeah, if, if that is, then Clone X avatars are in the works, yes. But they will more than likely not be a part of Season 3? I uh, don't know about that. There have been hype trailers shared. So I'm not okay. gonna I'm not gonna say not. Uh, I know that they are actively being worked on, similarly to the way that if you own a Cool Cats, you can be uh, a Cool Cats, uh, or ha- how you have been able to be uh, a World of Women avatar if you have an asset. So, plus, actually, like Alex shared probably three months ago or something, a nice preview trailer of those assets. I feel like they're further along in development than I know. Oh, Human X from Thailand. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I'm not oh, sure. from the Oasis, the Oasis project. Oh, okay. That we were discussing earlier. Um, that, I don't have a timeline on that. that. Being as it was just announced, I don't expect it to be something that's in Alpha right, Season 3. Right. Or in that time frame. Okay, so we got all the containers. Well, boy, I knew you could handle the situation. Hey, tell me something. So you left Luma Systemica. Never did the initiation. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the school. Uh, anything you can tell me in particular? Tell me something that satisfies this exomorph's curiosity. For me, there are different ways to get wisdom on, or what my father wanted knowledge of the whereabouts of Omega. So here we go again with uh, very, very tiny text. Yes. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. So I can see, yeah, as Con- Conrad mentions, it's small on the screen. One way to avoid this is to make uh, the interactions, rather than have the text be on the bottom, you have a next button be on the bottom. And so you go back and forth from the wolf text, it triggers a calculator next to it that starts a text prompt that says the Joe text, and then back to the wolf text just by pressing next. It takes more work, but it ends up giving you a better product because you don't have this tiny little stuff to read. If, uh, especially if you don't have a large monitor. I partly agree with you. Light helps a lot to gain wisdom, but sometimes it is blinding. Darkness helps you to be someone powerful, but power also creates destruction. As for Omega, for me, he's just another legend in the pantheon of gods. Oh, okay. Well, I imagine that in a few minutes, and if you don't know, Omega is part of the Voxadeus lore. So when you are building a product like this, I like that. I like what they did here. Uh, because you want to have certain mysteries sometimes that you can continue to flesh out as you build your story further. Um, all right. I imagine that in a few minutes, the ship will arrive. Uh, no, once again, no, like, docking port here. Uh, I would have probably built that in knowing that the ship is part of the lore. If you saw something that caught your attention, you can come back to see if you can earn something extra. I saw a giant vault. Maybe it's already unlocked. Okay. Get healed up again. Um, mentioned this before as well. We can make it so that the healing is not, uh, you do have a timer. Yes, I see that. Mm -hmm. We can make it so that the healing is not, uh, slow from the individual character. If you make it an asset that spawns. So maybe every time I turn in one of these, uh, vault collection bits, uh, a sort of healing pill or something. Okay. I open the vault. And I can't open the vault. Here we go. Couldn't open it when it was too close. Something is happening here. Did you see that? Kind of float. Yeah, what, what is this logic here? <clears throat> oh, okay. So our respawn timer was just off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, no, well you, maybe not the respawn timer, but maybe that's the object that kills me. Whatever that mm. is, it has collision on, right? So right, usually, right. if you guys don't know about the teleport mechanics that you can use, typically what somebody will do is they'll make it so that there's uh, the spawner gets created when you push the E button that would respawn you wherever you're going to go, destroy the old respawner, and then there's an object near you that does your full HP worth of damage. It's a kill shot item. You set your respawn speed to negative two so that you'll instantly appear at your destination instead of doing like the whole I died thing. All right. Right, right. Luma or Tenebris? All right. What is Tenebris? Or is there something between? I choose all three. 
a little young descendant of the Sapiens. How would you choose all three if you don't know any of those specters of knowledge? Show me. Ah! Okay. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Okay. So this room is made small, and so the camera gets real tight on the sides. If you have more space to make this white box larger, I would. Just I so that it, it's probably I, okay, I adds, but... That's the effect, right? You see that? As I move up, the box is too small. But that's just my opinion. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I've brought you to a dimension within the Forbidden Far. Below, I will present you with different situations in which they will determine your uncertain destiny. Luma, Tenebris, or Nublium. Hopefully I said that right. Nubilum? There we go. Now, your decisions will determine your future. I will do it. Okay, we're out here. It was a short time. Now we're out here. I wonder if I had to interact with that tree. Probably not. The quest shows a talk function here. Welcome to the Forbidden Far. Rocks three. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. You may think it's important, but there are things of greater importance. Like what? Health, family, your father, who is part of my family. Uh, but that makes sense. To still highlight that, I think that still makes sense. Uh, but I didn't bring you here for that. What matters now is that you have the opportunity to choose not only your destiny, your destiny, your future, but also the destiny of the Cypherverse. So I don't like the well, way that's written personally. It has. Because it has right. your destiny twice back to back. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're trying to like accentuate that, but in my opinion, tell me if I'm wrong about this, Conrad, but it looks like I'm talking to a robot, right? Some kind of AI here. If this is an AI, I think, I think it's going like, to be. I think he's like transcendence, right? Right, right. But I would look at this as like, I want it to be ultra clinical with the way that it speaks. Very particular. Unless. Right. Unless it is manipulative. Like where the case that it added your father here. It feels now like when I'm reading this, it's manipulative, which is okay. Very much okay. Because uh, if its goal is to just get you to do whatever it needs you to do, great. I, I kind of uh, like this because, you know, this could hint at something greater. Like right now we look at this and Maybe this is a, like, we see this as, like, a grammatical error, right? And we are just going, moving on in the game, and we go, oh, okay, the narrative, you know, he's some sort of all-seeing all being or whatever. He's helping me learn my path. And mm -hmm. every so often, more grammatical errors are showing up. You get these little nuggets that this thing isn't correct, that this isn't a proper being, right? So now you get these little glitches where it's repeating words, it's saying sentences That's incorrectly. And you have this different angle to these errors to where you kind of trick your audience. There's a lot yeah, you can do see. with narrative. Yeah, if, the, if, if that's a piece, and I like this idea, this is a good idea. So if you were to do something like that, where you wanted this AI thing, and I don't, again, this th what matters most in these game jams, when you talk about themed game jams like this, is that you stay on theme. So if the thing comes from a race of peoples or whatever, that is valuable, it can make mistakes, then... Yeah, I would leave this the way that it is, except I would say, choose not only your destiny and use an ellipses, which is the three dots, dot, dot, dot. Get rid of the comma, your, so it says not only your destiny, do, 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 destiny, your future, but also the destiny of the cypherverse. Right? right? So it like hits on it again. And you're like, you got to slow down. You got to really get into destiny there. You've, you've always heard it from your father, but you decided not to believe the prophecy. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Eight descendants of the same Ascendi will assimilate for themselves a part of the knowledge of Omega. But when these eight define their destiny and meet, an opportunity will open to know the location of Omega. My father was right. Impossible to have known at the time, right? Comma, space, right? Uh, so I'm one of the eight. Only by choosing a path of knowledge that I will show myself. Will you be one of the mentioned in the prophecy that I will show you? I wouldn't even say myself here. That I will show you, comma, will you be one of those mentioned in the prophecy, if you can. We'll do everything possible to find Omega. Once you go down there, 
But once you go down, comma, there will be no turning back. Make the decisions that your heart tells you and analyze them with your mind. It may not all be obvious, and there is some other way. Help one Examorph and defeat the other. Do I have to choose a side? If it's not you, others will come. But right now, you're the one right here. Go. For the Cypherverse or for Omega? Chat, you got to decide. Where are we going? Right, and, and while you guys are, are trying to tell us you know, where, where we should go with this story, uh, Joseph, there's uh, something you have over on your PC that has to go out to chat. <gasps> because it's too late. I did it so late. Oh my goodness, chat. Yeah, yeah we're, we're a little late here, but we do have some more questions. Uh, I do want to touch down on Libra, or Libra Starks. Question over on YouTube, will the Sandbox game be compatible with VR headsets in the future? The answer is pro no. Not yet. <clears throat> Very unlikely. Yeah. So it's, the, it's more than likely unlikely. But. Yeah, the, uh, the order of operations is this. First, uh, we are going to finish the PC slash Mac build. Uh, secondly, we are going to work on a mobile build because that is the origin of the Sandbox game. If you didn't know, the Sandbox Evolution had 40 million downloads on iOS and Android. Then we'll be working towards bringing it to consoles then after right. that maybe vr we'll see correct maybe can come we're ramping we're ramping. that's right we're still early we're in alpha and we're figuring stuff out that's what right you guys want now and the chat also, oh yeah. don't forget chatters to only to only uh fill out the form one time you do not want to disqualify yourself that's true uh, but we do have some more questions here um, all right excuse me there uh anna chris mc over on facebook says how can we get whitelisted if we have no assets what's going on with that i imagine oh. they're talking about being whitelisted for uh season three pass yeah so if it is with regards to season three and you're trying to get yourself a season three pass you don't have to own assets to get one um different assets do give people a reward for being a long time holder and that is a slightly increased chance. However, simply by playing in Alpha Season 3, you will get yourself raffle tickets that could earn you that pass. And for those people who do have the pass, they unlock the uh, essentially battle pass-like mechanics where you can play to earn or play and earn, uh, depending on you know your, your perspective on the experience. But there are also other methods by which a person could win uh, simply by making sure that you are uh, KYC verified you're eligible to win in the high scores list. So there will be a high scores list uh, with a number that I know and I can't say. Total pool of sand tokens uh, that will be given away. And sand tokens are the cryptocurrency native to the sandbox oh, game. Oh, you, you're just going to drop the you know this now? Like... <clears throat> I've known it for like a week and a half. Yeah. What? Yeah, but I intentionally just not telling you because I don't want to get in trouble. All right, Conrad. What if that number is changing? The numbers are sometimes subject to change. So if I tell you That's what it wild. is before there's a press release, you know what I mean? Uh, I can get in I'm trouble with for that. I'm with it. Nonetheless, Marco Galvano, belonging week rewards. You should be asking for the response to those in the People of Crypto Discord. Uh, they have the best and most accurate knowledge of that. Uh, <clears throat> see, Ice Pilot X7 saying, Conrad's not an ambassador. He has no NDA. How about this? How about this, Ice Pilot? He doesn't know that number, and I do. How about that? It's How true. about that? <laughs> Aha, so Anna Chris here uh, has a follow-up. Sorry, whitelist with asset avatars for newly launched NFTs, like people of crypto avatars in their whitelist. Okay, uh, well, each different asset has a different kind of whitelist. I think, for me, that's actually a little bit too generic of a term. Uh, if you don't already know what a whitelist is, it's essentially having an asset that allows you access or early access to certain events or uh, properties. For example, the people of crypto avatars just a little bit uh, ago had early access to minting the Steve Aoki avatars assets. So if you owned one of those, you did have early access to that. Um, but there are other kinds of whitelist accesses. Um, one thing to note is that in Alpha Season 3, we do not have gated content, meaning that owning a particular asset or avatar does not give you exclusive access to any of the experiences in Alpha Season 3. Forgive me. Then, Good to know. Uh, yes, but the, you can use those assets in Alpha Season 3 as your avatar. Uh, I had used it 
in all experiences in which the avatar is not overridden, uh, which means like there may be a game jam winning game that overwrites your avatar uh, with another asset intentionally. Like the one we're playing right now. Like the one we're playing right now. Exactly. Uh, so if this experience was in Alpha Season 3, then you would not be using that POC uh, avatar. You would be using this one because the developer chose to right. overwrite it intentionally. Uh, but, but yeah, all of those avatar yeah. projects have usually have their own systems on how to actually get their avatar. So far, um, there's only been the three, and you know there's some others that we kind of have an idea of how to get those, which are going to be like holding a board ape or a cool cat, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you have access to those assets, then you may see it in your profile section right now. Uh, just go check it out. As they are available, they will be in that space immediately for you when they become available. So, like the World of Women, right. you could already equip those, I believe. Uh, and, of course, the Doggies being their own NFT, the Aoki's being their own NFT, and the People of Crypto's being their own NFT. You should see those in your inventory uh, slash avatars section uh, right now. Correct, correct. And also, uh, Uncle Grumpy does confirm for us that... Uh, the sandbox itself is uh, handling the belonging week prizes, not POC. Hmm. Um, so I can only imagine that there okay. was some sort of hiccup. Yeah, uh, let me. I'll, with, I'll, uh... with Seb being out of office and whatnot. Uh, so just bear with us, guys. We'll have some more news for you uh, on that one soon. But as it stands, we're also. Okay, I'm going to follow up on you. belonging week tomorrow. For real, for uh, real. or late this evening it's going to be like one in the morning for me in order to do that but uh, hey, because we get I in that it. question literally every day so <laughs> yeah we gotta we gotta get that taken care of yeah anyway um so any other so, questions we got here so we do have some more questions though chat did choose omega i gotta say all right let's do some omega um, and, oh they're uh, just gonna beat each other up repro oh 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 what's going on Luma, huh. what's can, I, can I choose to help one? Should I be uh, helping punch one? Punch one. Yeah, punch one. We like the red one. No. Wait, oh, all right. Wait, I punched the red one. Joseph. Ah, I saved him. I saved okay, you. Okay, we got it. I saved we got him. got it. Bro, bro. Hello, young. Wait, who's young? I think uh, you're young. Is it young one? Am I named young? I don't think I've heard my name yet. I see you... I see in you a great strength, but I also see that you wasted stealing energy for that exo wolf. But to get all the knowledge you want, you need more power. How can I get more power for knowledge? With power comes knowledge, and with that knowledge, what it takes to find Omega. This path of the mighty will be tough, and will show you how strong you are in both body and mind. Go ahead and prove whether you are worthy or not. I'm just going to proclaim it, bro. I am worthy. That's what I said. Through, oh, did through you? the challenge. Yes. Ooh, ooh, did we already have that form closed? I did. Yes, I did. There you go. All right, I'm jumping in. Whoop. Oh. Hey. Okay. There's an open window. A We're door. mighty. It's just an exit. I'm going to just leave. Okay. <laughs> We're just, There's a quest. Gone. Yourself. There was an Easter egg behind it. Okay. So we just missed an Easter egg, says the dev. What's up? Young oh, Warrior, young. thanks for the help you gave me a while ago. With that other Exomorph from Luma Sistema, I know your path is to reach the depths of this prison, but it seems that everything has turned against us. What happened? I heard you could just walk away, dude. That's crazy. I know you're not supposed to do that, right? I'm sure the dev wants me to go interact with the person and beat him up or do whatever I gotta do to prove my strength. But you said I had to be smart as well in the story. So I just walked away and it worked. Apparently that prisoner has been able to connect his mind with the minds of the other guards and now he controls them. This is one of the two exit he has and uh, I'm the last self-aware guard. Nothing will happen here. All right. <laughs> I hope so. I hope boy, what was happening to me. I made a big mistake, boy. Boy. Oh. oh, now he wants to beat me up. Now I got to beat him up too, bro? Well, because right. he was... He was taken over. Yeah, you get to pass the, the strong, bro. Pass the strong. Head on down. Here we go. Okay. 
Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, friends? You gonna beat me up? Oh, well, take him down. They block. And well, Joe, over on YouTube, Repro uh, SW says, "Is it already known whether KYC will be required at the beginning of the season or at the end?" KYC will be required for claimants. Uh, so not at the beginning of the season because you're gonna need time to register for it. Do I have to just hit this guy real hard? I think you just gotta hit this guy real hard. I had to give him a bop. He was blocking everything, bro. Yeah, the boop that's oh! new. Velvet Bull, if you prove to be strong enough, we will meet face to face. I mean... I I like the boss top. Okay. Yes. So so once again, uh, Roxy, we, we encounter uh, a scenario where so far your world building is is doing really great. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, love the narrative. Like even too, I... and And we do know... Oh, I actually really like how they have done that little puzzle there. Um, so we do know that our dev, Roxy, um, <gasps> oh man, you're going to die a slow, painful death. I'm oh. alive. The lava? Okay. Oh, Yay. hey. Yay. Oh, wait. Yay. I love that. <sighs> I love that this lava was not instant kill lava. Please stop putting in instant kill lava. It is <laughs> really? so aggravating. That's so funny. So aggravating. Nope. I promise you nobody likes it. I disagree. Nobody likes it. I disagree. Get jump, out of here. jump Get puzzle. Out of here. Jump puzzles need yeah, instant but, lightning. Okay. Or instant right. murder. We'll talk on this subject in a second. All right. But <laughs> He's anyways. Like... Anyways. Let, let's go on to uh, back to what I was saying. So, Roxy, once again, we, we see that you have your, your great narrative, even though the English isn't your first language. What is that? Um, All right. You're doing really great on that end. Uh, the, the combat here, the pacing seems good. Um, and oh, you're, you're doing... You got to get in the, the far corner. Um, but then we have this wonderful, we have this thing where you got these textures all blending together. So we oh, got yeah, that's, to, that's true. we, we got to, we got to spice up your level design more be, like on the aesthetic portion of it, because so far uh, how we got here was actually really cool. Um, uh, it, it definitely like, the level itself like stepped up in quality right after we like right out the gate after we chose our pathing right uh, but otherwise so far so good you know we can see why this is in top five but otherwise we can also see why it was four because we need we need some extra bit of quality here when it comes to these assets uh just in the level design you got anything else to add to that joe well, um, <laughs> you're concentrating they, real hard they here. They keep spawning. So, like, stop. You know what I mean? What's going on here? Is this the puzzle that I was to... just literally supposed to stand here and beat up wave after wave of them? Oh, man. Okay. So that's so what I'm talking have... about. So I get a certain number of kills. Another... All right. All right. Go through oh. the challenge that the entity is given to you. Okay, so that was far too many with this type of enemy. Yeah, I, and I, sure. think, I think it was just a, if it's not so many, and I haven't killed... Okay, so here's how I figured that out. That one just stood there, right? But what I would probably do is, on that particular experience, you wanted people to have to fight through the trash to kill the boss. The only way to kill the boss was to have a charged attack because you're fighting through the trash, right? Um, so... If that is going to be the case, that one unit is important. Make it look different because it looked all the same. Uh, so we had, you know, a bit of a time trying to figure that out. And I just happened to stand in the corner and realize that guy's just standing there while the rest of them are in pursuit. So we want to make that, make that important there. Uh, are you blind or do you actually have in you that thirst for power to find Omega? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you're right. The end doesn't justify the meats. I'm not gonna answer that. What am I? Doing? Wait, what? So if it is what you choose, I will fight you. Give me power, oh man. <laughs> Just getting killed the whole time. All right, I like our designs here. He's very cool. Very Starlightless. Very Voxadeus. All of the above. He's he's in space. He's there's, a space bull. There's there's so many partners. Don't judge me, chat. I'm judging. I judged. I know just you are. Now. Not really, but 
Fox Funny. Vegas team, they're doing great stuff out there. Okay, Funny. my bad. It was cute. Get out of here. It's fun. All right, we like that boss oh. fight. That was fine. Okay, the ladder oh, feels backwards side. to me. Uh, ladder is backwards. Because I got to walk around it from where I was to go up. Uh, okay, this is cool. Oh, hey, I'm back in here. What's up, friend? Did I talk to you nice. before? No? Oh, all right. You didn't, no. Your path is almost complete. Bullcathos smiles on you. I can't, I can't not do it. Now you will go to that place beyond the far forbidden. As my successor in the faction, I give you the Tenebris armor and my weapons as well. I hope your future is blessed by Omega. Oh, thanks, Master. What's up, bro? He gives me all his stuff and it just kind of fell on the ground unceremoniously. Uh... I like the armor. It's nice to have this. It looks sick when you put it on, but how it was presented, I thought, was a little lackluster. Come closer, boy. Wait, didn't I already do that, bro? Already did that once. Unless that's the way. This is the way. Oh, yeah. You got a, a shield that looks like a weapon? That's my kind of shield. Uh, okay. Uh, oh boy, this is taxing. That's ta there's a lot of work happening here. You see that? Okay, yeah. What's what's going on here? I don't know. A lot of stuff is loading apparently, or a lot of functions are barely within range, and so it's causing hitching or lag. And I have one of the highest end PCs you can buy. Uh, come here, young warrior. I'm on my way. All right. As soon as I hit, I'm on my way. It was fine. Okay. So some kind of logic thing was waiting for me to do that and just kept popping up. What's going on here? Can I not walk to this guy or what? Am I supposed to follow you? Little space air maze? Can I not beat this guy up? Bury your gotta, past. Bury your past, dude. Just gotta bury my past, bro. Is it these? They, they're not killable. Bury your past. What does uh, that mean, though? Exactly, bro. Just bury your past. You know what I mean? It's that's what it means. That's it. Each one of these one pillars of them... means n n nearly nothing. I don't know. I okay, can't. Okay, that that pillar doesn't. No, that pillar did have something swirling around it. There are two pillars here. They're an offset. The lag. The lag is for void all the world. Okay, but that's the. Says. Okay, so when that happens, though, it's not just happening once. It seems to be happening over and over and over until I hit that text prompt button. So you may change the order of operations so that that thing does die. Uh, or like does the void function and then it stops right. voiding everything. Because it's voiding it regularly like every second. Okay, I want to bury my past, but I can't talk to this dude. I can't beat him up. Oh, there was an interact, but I had to be like really particular about where I was. Okay, how I was looking at it. Now that you've chosen that path, you will have to show how committed you are. Your face. Oh, you will face your past. May Omega bless you with power. My past. What do you mean? Oh, hey, what's up? It's literally everything I just fought, but in a cooler way. I like it. I do like the double axes here. Yeah, it looks nice. Even if I can't use them, like they're not tangible double axes. It does look like I'm using him because I'm flailing about. You know? Right, I right. like this. I like this. Am I actually having to fight these guys? Or are they just, like, chilling near me? Oh, there we go. They dealt a little damage. So, here comes something fun while you Come here, uh, young mindlessly warrior. beat Wait. these guys down. I can't. Why not? Okay, ready for this one? Okay. All right, Rush Park Galaxy over on Twitch says, In Season 2, I got full uh, raffle points and did not get a pass. Sure. I invited my friend to play Sandbox, and on the first day, he got a pass Season 2. Okay. Doesn't this seem not fair? Um, well, as is with the nature of raffles, um, the process is basically that your play can get you a chance to win. So, uh, essentially, we had in Season 2 1.5 million registered users and 10,000 passes that could be given away, right? Uh, we know that. So, 
there was already a relatively low chance that an individual would get one. But uh, your friend was, let's say, for example, you did all you did all the things. So you got 500 tickets. I don't know what this invisible wall is right here, but it's like every time I, I spawn, it's in the way. Seem to have. And I can't jump over spawned it. Spawned out outside the map here. But yes, it, essentially the you know <clears throat> as is the nature of any sort of lottery or you know raffle, um, the the number, the an arbitrary number was uh, chosen, and you happen to have ten arbitrary numbers, and your friend only had one, but his one was chosen, not one of your ten. Right. Yeah. It, oh, okay. This guy hits real oh. hard. He does not like you. No. And he hits real hard. Okay, I'm going to try something else here. Nope. That's a good, good I question. I did not hit Gucci. real hard. Okay, this what's... This is a good one that gets asked all the time. We'll get to that one in just a second, Jambucci. Okay. Uh, otherwise, PG Live PT uh, has a good question uh, over on YouTube. If we create a 10K project, can we put uh, can we put for sale for 5K and the others as gift prizes and games? Uh... Possibly. You are in charge of your collection. That's true. You tell me what you want to do with it. What you really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want a purple whizzy hat. Are you going to get one of those real quick? I don't think you are. I don't think you will. He didn't enter. Gonna try to, this guy how takes you, forever you to know? tell. Is it because you check the forms, Joseph? How dare you? Come here, young warrior. I'm on my way. Bro, I've been trying Aha. to get there the whole time. This guy so, is like, yes, what, what happened? That one guy was trying to say young warrior, not young one. There was an NPC we ran into earlier that said just young and then I uh, had a period. Oh. I couldn't figure out, like, because we hadn't heard his name yet, right? I guess. Or Come on, name. bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> You're so close. He had like no health in a dream and he still beat me, bro. It's crazy. So I always I always give the suggestion when it comes to, you know, trying to come up with a like a clandestine fight in your games, right? Uh, um it make it make Wait, it that was mechanic. my dad? You made me kill my father and I didn't even know. Wait. Oh what? my goodness, bro. <laughs> I don't like this twist. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. That I just killed an I, ethereal version of my own father. Uh, that Roxy NPC is your father. Right now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no emotional but, weight behind it. Like, if I would have started and they did that epic anime thing, I don't even watch right, anime, right. but you know what I'm talking about, the trope where it's like, I'm back from the grocery store. I got my milk, and I'm going to use it to rip you up because I got protein now, yeah. And dad, right. like, gets in a fight with it's you, around. like, something's happening, like, right? Walk. He, like walks yeah. out the door and he's yeah. like, I forgot the cigarettes. And they're like, Dad, yeah. anyways, yeah. Um, as, as we were just discussing there. Yeah. Um, so whatever comes to boss fights and trying to like level up your games, um, instead of making the boss fight, uh, you know, that Dark Souls boss fight, where sure there is a mechanic to you know his fight, something that you can learn, uh, but mostly you know in Soulsborne games. Uh, their common trope for difficulty is substituted by how much HP, so how much bullet damage uh, the opponent can take in comparison to your measly little tiny numbers, and yeah. then you yourself take big damage. And that's where difficulty, in quotations I'll say it, comes in. So do the opposite of that and make it so it's a mechanically sound fight to where you're not just only bashing into uh, you know a brick wall but you're also having to go um, turn the lever you know complete this wave of enemies did you destroy the crystal that was powering him up uh, there's anything that you could do to spice up the fight to where it's just not me you know running into my death over and over and over again until I get his mechanics down perfectly right his fighting stance. yeah and, it, and that's yeah it I just, I just really wanted to see the epic, like, mental thing happen. Oh yeah, and I think that's had, part of. I mean, we it, had some good story building and, and like a solid narrative coming up to this. 
it's true. There was a lot of that, right? And like, so there's two different directions you can go, right? You can lean heavily into the Vox Deus verse, whatever that is, whatever their lore bits are, or you can lean like you can have that and be a piece inside it, right? And I'm thinking about games like uh, the, the Star Wars Jedi something uh, that Actually came out. Republic? Nope. Came out in 2020 or something like that. The one that came out for PS4, Fallen PS5. Order. Yeah, Jedi Fallen Order, yes. Uh, so that experience was a story that happened inside that world. And like you knew the world and the world was happening around you. But mostly you right. were that individual character. So you could do something like that when you do a narrative like these. Where it is, how do I get emotionally invested in this character? And then how do I take that from experience to experience? And you can only do that because this character... Uh, is not an avatar it's it is a custom designed character that you put in this world so now you could take that custom design character to your next story your next experience and it's still going to be really high quality narrative like it's the connecting thread now um anyway you sit up to your fire right. and you show the strength of omega that is in you this path is just the beginning victory three out of four quests where I was like the it. fourth one the fourth one was when i skipped and just turned around and walked out the door so I missed, I was able to skip one of your narrative beats in a highly storyline based experience. Well, guess what, Joseph? Our yes. dev inside the chat does say the other stories have lore linked to the family's story for another okay. day. And this is the non canon ending. Okay, sure. And yeah, this is if, if you have a, a really high quality narrative design, and I think that you do, then you know, the only things that you are missing are the making the worlds look more lived in and less. And again, this takes time. This is the problem, right? With some of these game jams and why yours rated well, I would say yours rated well because it was a story that hit on the beats of the actual lore of Vox Adeus. Yours did not go so well because your world felt like we mentioned at the top. You know, you cut some holes in some existing terrain and built in that without really make, giving them shape, form, or, or organic right, feeling. Right, right. It could, it Level could design be, had proper flow, but yeah. how how it was um, how it was presented to us was just a little lackluster. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. we can't can't touch on that anymore than to say you know it was a great game at the same time. So That's I true. Agree with Ice That's pilot. true. Nice pilot, spot on. It is a great game, and that's the reason why so it was in the top two. I'm working hard on my Vox Edit skills. The Vox Edit <laughs> skills are the fan, like, they're fantastic, yeah. Roxy. Don't even worry about that. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is, um, you know, we have a tunnel that, that could have been a uh, easily like a docking bay, right? Right. So you got to get, just got to get that level design to have that, uh, yeah. that same kind of oomph that matches the narrative beats of your story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but and and that's another thing too is like something you don't really have to necessarily overthink your vox edit skills when you're thinking about that you can literally pull up a picture of the floor of an airport or something and go like i'm gonna mimic right. this in vox edit and then put it down in your tunnel where you're supposed to be offloading all those materials or like you know make things a little more s shaped in your in your positions right whatever oh excuse me there is they always look up like pixel artists and you know how to work with uh, minimalistic you know designs. Yeah, uh, and yeah. that'll definitely help you there. And a really as you're doing though. that, I recommend everybody, please. I didn't realize that it was such a and an, be an endemic. Um, le learn your your color theory, guys. It's gonna help you in all of your games oh, forever. Yeah. True, that's true. Yeah, color theory is fun. I, it's actually I hadn't fun. realized I hadn't yeah. actually realized how uh, uh, little that was known until a, a stream we had just the other night. Really? I was like, okay, okay. Um, All I, right. I thought this was commonplace, but let's go. I, I feel like wow. teaching now. Yeah, uh, I like it. I like but, it. But yeah, let's let's get up to that next game though. All right, what do we got up next, Conrad? We're rolling on the list. We had a, a special request okay. from Edgar uh, over on Twitter. Okay, uh, let's. Climb parkour in the Hong Kong I ID sand on page one. Spend hours oh. to try and climb. 
or it could be an alternative path in the Metal Olympics originals. This one, number five, Hong Kong Walker, Alun Walled City. I think that's it. it. They didn't tell ID us the exact sand. name, but it says you ID got Sand it. on it. So that's <laughs> it right me. there. Let's see what we can do. Hello Theory is not common knowledge. Not everybody is Michelangelo level artist. I agree. I, I agree with that. <laughs> it's not. It is not something that is like yeah. uh, Michelangelo level artistry or anything that you have to go to college for or anything like that. Right. It's not like music theory, right? Whereas music the th theory can get super Let me see complicated. Let's find an example. Um, Let's find an, I, I got an example for you. Do you I have, have a color wheel you. that we can pull up for somebody? I've got this. Then, this is a Hermit Crab Game Studios card. It's green, right? You can't see it's, it because it's see-through on the screen, but it's green, I promise. And then right, next right. to that, you put red. And where do you know red and green to be for, right? Usually, like, holidays, people use red and green all the time, right? This is the color theory because they're on opposite sides of the color wheel. Red, green, blue. No, that's not, not accurate. Uh... Cyan, magenta, You're and yellow. Yeah. So blue, yellow, red-ish. If you put the blue and yellow, you split this green color in half, right? That you can't see because it's green. I'm on a green screen. But you split this green color in half. All of a sudden, you've got a yellow and a blue, right? And so right. you're forming two parts of the wheel that are on like 33% of how far from each other. And the green would uh, be and, up here, right? So there's, if and, you... Uh, and if now you're you guys, trichrome. Ooh. Yes, trichroma. And you can do the same thing uh, where you make like a Y shape. So you get closer to the green, but on both sides, not quite blue, not quite yellow. Get closer to the green, but not quite. And use those two shades of greenish to uh, get the same effect. Um, yeah, there's lots of different really cool things about color theory. Uh, you know, uh, one of them, you can also get like regional with it, right? Like, uh, I, I believe it's China, uh, where if somebody passes away, they like to wear red instead of black like America. So you can, like, make things regionally applicable uh, by doing a little research right. into those color theory things. Um, it's not something that you have to know either. You absolutely don't have to know it. No, just, for the majority of people, um, yeah. it, it's just kind of background knowledge. That's why I've had this, uh, this sort of impression uh, uh, that is just something that most people know. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, well, I'm gonna hell, Joseph, you, you, you know what I did for the past ten years of my life. So yeah, uh, just like making like, or like selling games, like he just and he knows color theory. I happen to know color theory because of Photoshop, but in 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 reality, if you don't know it, here's a really easy one for you. A really easy way to do it. Everybody who has Microsoft software, uh, it's probably a similar software on Mac, but anybody who has Windows, you have paint installed right so let's say you want to make something and you want it to have cool accents if you want it to be blue you want it to have a cool accent the opposite of that paint use paint paint the color blue that you like in paint and then go to the tools and just do the invert option and you'll see what the opposite color is on the color wheel brightness will matter so if it was a really dark blue then it would be like a really light orange that you get out of it but nonetheless you'll still see the opposing color that you would normally get. So it's a real, it's, it's like a pro tip for that. Right, right. But that, that's just, you know, something super easy you can play around with too. Also, yeah. W. Caleb uh, does point it out. You are very wrong when it comes to the, uh, the funeral thing. Was uh, I? Oh, I, good. Chinese funerals are, are somber and black. Okay, uh, so, okay. Like, and then well, thank bright you. and colorful clothing, especially red, must especially be avoided. Red. These <laughs> okay, all right. Well, thank, you. thank you for correcting me because I am, after all, a valuable, dumb American human being. You know what I mean? I, and, I love uh, how it, it, it's specifically <laughs> just right there, especially I so, red. I'm so glad that you corrected me on that because I have been under the impression that that is the case for a very long time. Not kidding. You know, I don't know why. But like, you know, I, maybe it's just because I was like a teenager and th thought I learned it, you know, I there's know. a really funny uh, medium bit that I've, I've gotten recently uh, that sure. I need to share with you after the stream here. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, all right, let's go ahead and, get, and let's find out our winner here right. before we get oh, yeah, rolling on to this game. All right. Let me double check here real quick. Uh, I answered. Almost all question? of these are good answers. 
so, so some of these, I like some of your answers for sure, but the question was, what day is tomorrow? And some of you answered Monday. And I'm like, uh, fam, that's what's happening right now. It's not, it's not Sunday. <laughs> but, I mean, nonetheless, I'll hopefully no. I draw one with a real answer. I'm looking for human answers. So we right. got number 40. Well, while you're, number while you're doing that, though, Joseph, yes, I do sir. want to point out and thank you again, W. Caleb. Uh, at the end of last night's, not last night's show, Saturday's show, uh, W. Caleb was the last person to say something in the chat. Yeah. Pointed out that I did not <gasps> give you guys my extra little spiel oh my um, gosh. about how much you guys are worth it and how amazing you guys are and how today did not define you, even though it could have been the worst day in your life. Your depression, it can be beat. If you're feeling down, make a support system. Find some friends. You have the friends here in this ecosystem. Yes. My DMs are open. Radcon yes. Dad. Joseph, the Vision EX, you and know, just tag us. You like, know, Conrad, you, you, you mentioned this a lot, right? You say it on all the shows, and I like it. Um, and I'm going to leave a suggestion for those people who may uh, experience that. Uh, often people who run into these things, this is a generalization. I'm not an expert, not a psychologist, but I have found in the, in the past from people that I know that people who suffer from this also often hyper-focus on a, a, an individual task. Uh, and if that happens, if you are that kind of person who gives a hundred percent to one function, try very hard to give a hundred percent to two functions. If that makes sense, split your attention intentionally, right? Don't right, give right. everything to one thing because sometimes what can happen is that one thing can be taken from you. Sometimes it's, uh, something you did. Sometimes it's something someone else did. You never know, right? You don't want to have everything taken. Uh, so don't invest a hundred percent in one function. Uh, get that you know use fox you know, as a hobby or or you know uh have a friend like conrad said call us whatever it, whatever right, it is right we're with you uh, yes. it's it's all about that baby steps if, if you gotta <laughs> just finish those little tiny tasks at a time yeah like i personally i struggle with those dif those dishes oh my goodness gracious mm. you know holly holly getting at me for for trying to clean up and make sure my dishes are good it's She's just, just watching out for my back because she knows that if I if I could just nest, if I could just give it all up and just sit there in a pile of filth, I would. So instead, wow. I'm getting up and I'm making tomorrow happen. That's because right. Because I want to make sure that I'm with you guys. Staying productive, you know? Productive, productive. is interesting because, like, sometimes productive can mean overproductive. Anyway, I don't want to get it. I don't want to go too There's far. There's a whole lot of things. We got a lot of Once time. Once again. We can we can get a Not little, uh, but I got over a little personal with you guys. I got but... a little something for you over here. If you right, folks, right. Uh, if you folks believe that tomorrow is a Wednesday, okay. Then, what do we got? All right. Over on YouTube.com, frequent viewer Leonardo de la Cruz is the winner hey. of the Wizzy the Purple hat from this show. Let's go. Ice Pilot X7 says, I prefer productive procrastination. Ice Pilot, Ice Pilot, uh, I hear, I hear Bill Gates really likes people who do that. Uh, he had a pretty famous quote that said he'll hire the lazy people because they could figure out how to get stuff done the fastest with the least right. amount of work. You know what I mean? I love it. Leonardo De La Cruz, congratulations, man. We got, uh, we got that coming your way. We got it. Alex is still actively like designing that hat. I think maybe he did it tonight. I can't remember. I remember he was working on it. Uh, but as soon as it's done, he'll start sending out the 10 that won on the first day. And we'll have one each on each and every one of these shows. So if you're interested in winning a Wizzy, the purple hat that you can use in these combat based experiences, similar to this hat, but in purple and oh, doesn't have the oh. rim on it. Okay. Check it out. Okay. Okay. Real quick. Yes. I, okay. I do want to point out here. Uh, celebrations for Leonardo. Congratulations again, my friend. All right. um, but we got Becky Index Game here over on YouTube. They say this is the first experience from Index Games. We actually got to uh, meet with Index Games. What's up, Becky? Um, yeah. Over, over at NFT NYC. What, what a good time. We're going to yeah. be playing this one uh, for the, to finish us off for the night. Um, and then I do want to finally uh, get to Dr. Metaverso's question while he's still okay. awake. Sure. I'm so sorry, friend. I, I promise though, I don't skip anybody. It just takes a minute to get through some of these questions. Here we go. You ready for this one? Yeah. Over on Twitch.tv, Dr. Metaverso says, Joe, I got a question in the KYC. 
and I was showing us earlier the verification button on her Sandbox account. Mm -hmm. My questions are, if we are sending the documents to verify through the Sandbox portal, one, will the verification be still by Sandbox team or a vendor? And will the server see our data since they go through it? Okay, um, so as a certified Cisco Systems Network technician, um, you'll want to make sure that before you send any data over the internet, regardless of what portal you're sending it to, that they're using a secure socket layer, SSL. You'll know because when you highlight the lock next to the URL at the top of sandbox.game, if you click on that, it's going to say connection is secure. That means it has a secure socket layer. That means between you and the destination, the connection is secure, not public or publicly accessible. Right? This is, um, something that's been core enforced by Google for a couple of years. Um, essentially meaning if you don't have SSL, they'll dump you on the SEO list. So you don't uh, fall very high on Google search results if somebody searches for you, right? Everybody has to have that essentially if you're a good business. Um, and we do, of course, it's cheap relatively. It's like $200 or something a year. Uh, now that in mind, the information itself, uh, whether we end up using a third party vendor or not, which I cannot confirm until we make the announcement officially, um, the information itself will not be held by the sandbox game. We will not be storing the information. You store a record of that. It was checked, right? Um, and so your account itself will have a verification checked and say, this was checked. You're a person. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Get out of it. No, uh, but yeah, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, it, it's certainly not. You know, again, people bring it up all the time, so we know all the common concerns for these sorts of things. Uh, and quite frankly, we're interested in just making sure you're a person, not your information. We don't, like, you know, it matters that it matches once, but it doesn't matter what it is or necessarily. It needs to be your real information, that is all. All right. right. We want you to have the cookies off. <laughs> cookies <laughs> off? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> we don't want your info, all I'm saying. Oh, all I right. see. Let's, let's yeah, go yeah, into yeah. this one. I mean, I just don't want you to show up at my house. <laughs> <to> book... <laughs> so I made a grammar error. Hey, you know, yeah. Oh, man. That's not going to no, happen. No, the, the idea RX78 is that you just get a little hashtag that says, this person's good, uh, yeah, and they little... take the rest of your info and then dump it out the window. That way right. we can have a safe web in a, three. in a theoretical yeah. sense of course we don't actually print right. it or anything like that but just like we're not going to have and hold it right we don't need to keep your information it's not relevant to us we just want to make sure you are a person so that we can beat the bots right get on with and life. because because the the tokenomics are the uh the part that end up with the funds instead yeah. of yeah. you know trying to sell your info <laughs> all right it takes too yeah. much time. I'm not gonna oh, do that. No. We don't need to. See. We got. We got land to sell. You know what I mean? Not personal information. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, all right. Oh. So first, the beginning. You come home to a tarnished apartment. Your wife, daughter, and even the cat is missing. Explore and find out what happened. Oh, big man, Junke. Uh, how dare you steal from Dragon Gang? Whoa. <laughs> Where is my wife and daughter? You must pay for what you did. Excuse big man. No, big man. Oh, no. You oh, cannot. no. Oh, no. Oh. oh, he hits. It takes a while for him to hit because of his model type. That's not on you. Um, there we go. Pairing. I, Success. I love how he has just like, he, he just, just kind of like waltz through. He's like, I'm out the door. But you know what? I notice you noticing me. And I just want to put you on notice. Then I'm going to beat you up now. <laughs> right, right. I like it. Okay. So we're climbing up because I saw something shiny right away. Okay. Um, search the area for weapons to fight villains. Optional. I found a pot and I got one out of six. Ooh, okay. What can I do with that pot? I can wear it on my head. <laughs> I can't see anything, but I got a pot on my head. I like it. Okay. I, so far, this is one of my favorite uh, headpiece assets. <laughs> Rat. I'm not your cat. Go away. <laughs> okay. That's All right. I'm inferring information. Uh, the text bubble here, you see how it kind of clips through the box a little bit. You might make it so that rather than the rat talking, this is an option, but uh, maybe a text bubble comes up based on proximity as I walk up above the basket that says like, you are saying it, and it says, ew, a rat. Or like something right, else. Right. Maybe it says, that's not my cat, 
or you know, depending on how you want the emotion to come through right here. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it does seem like the rat has the ability to communicate with you in some way, in which case I would totally keep this rat. I would put this rat in a, like in my house. It would live with me. We would chat. He's Ratatouille. He's probably making dinner. He's a good chef. You know what I mean? You seen that movie, Becky? All right. Dragon Gang has kidnapped your daughter. So your Hard wife tell, is trying to save her. Why I did you shadow, but it, it's the rhino. I was requested to do the dub in the rhino. I was making a hamp up about you earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't see the shadow puppets when he's got a green screen chat. That's All right. True. Meta verified or metaversed. I forget which one you prefer now. I'm pretty sure it's metaversed. Uh, not sure if this is a stupid question. No such thing. But can you KYC more than one account? I have a second account that I'm building my game in. Can I KYC both? Uh, I don't think so. For the purposes of our giveaways and stuff, you're meant to only have the one KYC to count. Um, so I don't think you'll be able to get a second one approved. But that is another thing that we're trying to do, which is allow you to have more than one uh, account and link to uh, your sandbox primary. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, and, yeah. yeah. And this does go into another question from, uh, I'll skip ahead here, uh, from Arif over on YouTube. Hopefully I put your name right. They say, if they don't keep your information, how do they know if one pe one person registers for several times? Sometimes uh, we skip ahead, Arif. Don't, don't take it personally. We still got a lot of questions behind you as well, but this is relevant here. Sure. Well, they are. We have human beings who are actively checking these things, so we'll be able to check it through a very a variety of typical measures. Um, so there may be some small. Okay, I'm seeing some Z fighting here, Becky. You see how those elements are perfectly aligned. These these elements are perfectly aligned. It looks like you wanted to look give a little depth to the staircase or something like that. But when you did that, um, you'll want it to be like slightly into the stair or slightly out of the stairs so they don't do this when right, they move right. on these small things uh but, but anyway it's, yeah essentially though if your id uh was used and that was you basically confirmed that you're the one uh, oh. oh you have a whole lot of people this is a whole up. lot of people trying to beat uh, me up <laughs> basically once once your passport or your id is used uh, you are essentially now taken off of that list of people who can now create a new KYC account. Plenty of uh, easy checks and balances for that one. Just to confirm that you are you and you're not a robot. Because okay. uh, I don't know about you, but I'm sick of them robots. All we right. got them robots. In Climb in the stairs. Got multiple different. I'm sorry, Siri. Don't beat me. I'm kidding. What did you do? Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> bad joke was bad. Uh, mm. Anyways, as we continue on to these questions, Crypto Nerd 303 over here says, what happens if KYC verification isn't completed by the end of the season? Uh, those people who don't KYC won't be eligible for rewards. Um, so Hi. you can, of course, if you don't want to KYC, we understand. Uh, you'll be able to play. If you like to play, you can have some fun. Uh, let's see. I got a folding stool. Now I can beat people up with it. I like it. Um, so I do want to talk about the game here in just a second, but continue with your answer. Sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you'll just be locked out of rewards earnings, but you can still play, have some fun, enjoy the games. Uh, you'll have the whole season to be able to do so. Oh, is this guy okay? I feel like I should be able to chat with this guy, Becky. I know it may not seem like much, but it's probably because I've seen too much gameplay, but I know what a dead we NPC want... looks like. And right. this we guy. We want to hear from him needs to either just say everything's cool i'm fine or ouch or, or something no, or I, like he appears to be dead whatever the whatever the thing you, is you got some change because we've been picking up these dollar coins right oh you turn into a mini you can have that one be a quest did you see that that'd be fun okay all right so as i'm running through that particular experience uh or or that section of the experience i collided with a vertical uh object that was exactly barely one block high right as i came right down there. onto this and it squished right, me between right. the two assets and i flew to the ground so you want to work on i would say uh right here 
feel free to put an invisible wall there uh, because this won't be a problem in version 0.7 uh, with a steep pitch between these two assets. So I still have to jump from the one to the next one, but I can't get squished between them and shot down under uh, to the ground level. I just put it, make it invisible, very steep between all of these different things that I have to jump up. Then I can't glitch right, down through them. Here's another question from uh, W Caleb over on YouTube. The KYC okay. function is already implemented. Question mark. No, it has not been implemented yet. Not yet. Uh, just confirmed. Uh, we do not know about um, which system or which third party we'll be using, uh, or if we're doing it completely in house. Um, as we have yeah. Lots Can't of questions it. coming That's in right. on the KYC. Yes. Um, we will that? have a full announcement for that when it is ready. So right, the, right. That, that portion was put into the video as an assurance that the function would be there, but the full details will come out in a press release as we get closer to uh, the release of KYC. Right. And of course, um, as we, oh, you know, as we oh, get closer... I need to highlight this real quick. Go in ahead. version 0 0.7, this thing that you've done here where I slide up will not work. It will no longer work. There is now a type of clambering that is going to be happening with the uh the avatar like interaction where they'll be oh. able to go up ledges a little easier but otherwise slopes like that no longer have that kind of glitch slide effect yeah so we can't get up to a lot of spots anymore but uh to continue about kyc you guys don't panic quite yet on uh who we're going to be using <laughs> or any of that um or how long it will take uh, as you know, we got repro asking how long will the actual verification take the first day, for example, 10,000, 100,000 people will be verified. It'll yeah, be I, wild for a second, but trust us guys. Uh, it's something that was going to happen. We'll have more information for you real soon. Yeah. It's, it's important to understand that it's not uh, a thing to stress about when it comes to, oh, can I climb that? I feel like I, I want to climb it, but I can't. Okay. Can you, um, before you leave that area, uh, yeah. I want to talk more on KYC, of course, for, for folks. Uh, but can you just look out the window here and just look down this alley? You had enemies on that roof there. We got these mega tight alleys with these clotheslines everywhere. I even saw the same type of clothesline multiple times, but it never felt like I did. This right. is a lived in looking world. Um, That's true. Yeah. This is it's really cool. Uh, I've, I've never been uh to you know a mega city like this uh of course you know I've, I've seen you know uh seattle new york uh and whoa where are we now uh <laughs> we stumbled upon something here um yeah i guess kick the oh. crap <laughs> oh, right. oh my god you deleted bah. that old man oh Boom. no <laughs> you only get one shot you know what i mean all right, right we are right. not so different after all uh these You're, are yeah, after all couch Two uh, separate words, so I would uh, separate that. That's okay. It happens all the time. Uh, we get what we want with brute force. I'm never touching your dirty money if it weren't for my daughter's illness. Okay. You're keeping me alive for your daughter, aren't you? I just destroyed you, bro. You're dead. I'm kidding, but really, he's not on the screen, so I'm not sure. You know what? Every hero needs a villain. Make sure you capitalize after each one of these punctuations. Uh, every. Right. Uh... And you need my dirty money to save your daughter's life. I hope the evil wins. <laughs> okay, now everybody fights. So now uh, everyone fights. Uh, I was I was able to trigger the chat event by simply beating him up. And it seems that there are limitations to how far those uh, those people can walk, which makes sense because of the tightness of this space. You probably didn't want them activating when we were up there, but you can make it so that they don't activate until certain triggers, like you've done. Uh, the text chat happens. So what I would do is as we walk into proximity of the old man, I don't know if he can attack. It, uh, just make him not attack if he could attack, if he was supposed to attack. But make it so that when I walk up into the room right here, the text triggers, right? And then we have the chat, and then they all activate, and you can make their radius whatever size you like. They're all going to come after me anyway, and I'm going to have to beat them up. Uh, so I beat them up. I do the thing. She's scared. She appears to be running. Dad, what's up? Oh, I saved you. Oh, hey, the kitty cat. I got the cat. Ain't a person. All right. I have acquired one person and one cat. I will save you. Um, find Dr. Wong Look and seek his help. Okay. Where do I find them? 
There appears to be some markers and indicators on where they are. Okay, I like this. Whoa, bro, weren't you helping me before? I gotta so go. far, I I love the uh, the legendary weapons that you have with your your helmet here. They're honestly heck. And your your foldable heck and chair. Cute. I can jump on a basket to get to that can. Are we just gonna cheese it? Are you just gonna, gonna use the physics? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. I like it. I like it. Got that trash can lid. Equip that shield, sir. Oh yeah. You know it's got to be a shield. There There's we a go. Stick as well. As the stick. We're with the you, Maddox Furia. We're with you. It's not. Uh, and of course, uh, Repro over there asking about uh, how long it can take. Uh, because they have experience with fintech and know how long it can last sometimes with large inflows of people. Well, our um, our specific season is going to be a little bit longer than the previous ones. Um, and Yeah, we've got 10 weeks worth of time, so there's lots of time to be able to get these functions done, whether it's in-house right, or external. Right. How does that compare to uh, the most recent large-scale uh, KYC project. The other side, uh, they had sold 100,000 properties, had 150,000 people registered for KYC over a period of about two, three weeks. And then it Correct. stretched out to like four or five based on like the tickets that could have gone out there. We've got a 10-week season. So it's more than reasonable that uh, this is going to be done before anybody is going to have to worry about it. Now, of course, everybody and is going to want to say when, right? They're going to want it done yesterday. But in reality, you have to make sure that humans have time to process human-like functions because we're not necessarily going to just have a bunch of robots processing your data. All right, good morning, Hillary Smith. For real, good morning. Oh, heck! We're going to self that now. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Are these the money... Oh, is this the money you stole from Dragon Gang? That's what I would say here. Not, are these the money? Is are these is like pluralizations, right? If if it was like multiple bags of money, maybe are these the money bags you stole from Dragon Gang? That would make more sense. I think but, so. I think so. But I don't see any money bags being deposited on the ground near them. So you could do that too. If you had a money bag and you wanted me to like drop it when the text prompt pops in, the money bag drops down. Then you could say, "Are these the money bags you stole from Dragon Gang?" Cool. You know, I'll give you the medicine your daughter needs for free. But please stop messing around Kowloon Walled City. Messing around. Well, what makes what makes you think you are better than Lung Chung Tin? You both steal and hurt people. Oh, okay. Oh, please don't point. be the next Lung Chung Tin. Okay. I, I will try not it. to. I already uh, said evil must win. He said evil must win. Chat. Okay, take the medicine home. Your family is waiting for you. Uh just with just like everybody else, uh, Right now, I'm gonna say it again. She is us. Uh, if you're, I know you're a little late here, and I know you missed out some information on the KYC. It's just the same old, same old. We don't know until yes. it happens. <laughs> That's right. Until the uh, announcement comes out, we just, just have a lot of speculation on how it's going to work, and we're trying to ease your questions on how other KYCs and other projects have gone and how more than likely this one will ease up and how this one will work, trying to ease some of the uh, concerns and pains. But right now, we have no idea which direction Sandbox will take. Yeah, uh, and, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear up something here for Xiao Mao 228 because I did yeah, ask a ahead. similar question here. They say, do I have to have a verified account to participate in the contest, or can I take part in the first day of the season and having won the Alpha Pass go through the verification process? You must be verified by the end of the Alpha. Uh, those accounts who are not verified cannot win. Right, you, right. you won't be able to win a pass. Uh, you won't be able to win sand. None of those things. You must be KYC verified. So do it as soon as you can, because you don't want to end up being the kind of person who maybe you tried to win something. Uh, you know, uh, if if you tried to win and you did win, but you didn't have it verified and then it took too long to verify, end of the season comes through and all this other stuff, um, you want to make sure that you can win in the first place. We're with you. Don't even worry about it. And Kinyo, right. if we had more time, I would love to find out what you think oh. is so expensive. But hey, for now, can you can play that? these. You can, can play these that? games. Oh, yeah. That's over true. there on the Game Creator. 
and you can play them for free because making games doing the vox edit pull us up on that big screen go check out hong kong walker it's a good time we we didn't get to do that parkour portion of it go check this one out for sure you guys yeah Uh, it's right on page one right now page page one all right go get it conrad i'm gonna kind of i'm gonna great work I want to kind of address this really quickly because yeah, it seems yeah, like it's ahead. a pretty quick question. Kinyo, um, yeah. if uh, you believe that onboarding meaning being able to publish an experience in the metaverse is expensive at this time, you might want to check out our Vox Edit design contests. Uh, these edit design contests can win you thousands of dollars worth of sand tokens and the Game Maker, which is the link that Conrad just put in the chat here. In that Game Maker, you can enter into game creation contests as well. These game jam contests have tens of thousands of dollars worth of the prizes that we give out every month. So go check it out. Landbox. uh, Yeah, Landbox would have definitely, definitely copied you for sure. (laughs) But I have no idea. They would have copied us. Uh, The Sandbox has been around for a long time and uh, the Sandbox metaverse itself uh, started up in... 2000 Re- and regardless 20. Here, nonetheless you have the final two questions of the night here uh from jam bruchki over there uh, okay I believe on youtube uh isn't the normal reward a thousand sand why is it lower this season is it because of the bear market nope it is not because of the bear market the number of tokens that are distributed for the alpha season two was 500 tokens then you know if- you're jamming I am jamming. I'm j- is that okay? Should I not be jamming? No, you're fine to jam. Just nobody else can know. You're not letting us. Wait, you can't jam. Oh, I'm jamming. You're oh, you want to jam together? Again. All right, let's jam together. All right, there All right. We there we go. Anyway, so you can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, geez, I'm all I'm all off on the side now. Uh, what the question was again. Uh, to about earn a thousand sand. A thousand sand. Thank you. Than. Yeah. So uh, 500 sand was the distribution prize for Alpha Season 2. Then the community worked together with a staking bonus, and they ended up doing so well that they doubled the amount, right? Uh, Now, in Alpha Season 3, there will be a variety of different options and rewards. Uh, Those options and rewards uh, are, first, you may compete in the high scores list with a prize pool, its own dedicated prize pool. Uh, You've got the sand distribution as usual by leveling up by playing experiences in the sandbox game uh then we've also got a prize distribution reward for people who participated in the ecosystem such as landowners and people who own assets that they can use to design lands like this one Uh, people who own the avatars as well avatars uh, have their own dedicated reward system and according to the video staking is back We'll see what the prize pool is for that when it officially gets announced on our medium.com slash the sandbox game or sandboxgame.medium.com. Uh, either one should work for you. But you hang out, watch okay. that, and you may be uh, you may be able to see some answers here soon. Okay, now, Connor, that's the next here one. Here comes the last one. The, the, the last question of the night from Vox Maker Mark. What happens if my account gets hacked? What do I do then? The one that I have KYC with. Don't click any links, Foxmaker Mark. We can unverify your account manually if you report it. Uh, <laughs> Kill the guy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. It is, unfortunately, the with the, the, the method nature, of madness that the is. The nature of Web3, right? Web3, but, yeah, right. Your account is your wallet. So if your wallet gets hacked, then your account got taken, essentially. Not in whole, uh, but they would have full access to the same amount of things and do's and don'ts that you do and don't um, with your account. So don't click random links from random people. Don't click links from your grandma. Uh, Only do things that... Yeah, I mean, Ice Pilot... Unfortunately, Ice Pilot has a quote that is accurate. And they say, what if I get hacked? Well, don't get hacked. It's it's a a sad reality of Web3, but um, you'd be amazed the number of times where I've been like, wow, that looks really cool. I'm not clicking it, though. (laughs) Right. I I gotta say, it's unfortunate, but that is the method of Web3, which is decentralized and then uh of course you know with doing something as sensitive as kyc trying to confirm people 
Then you have to go into like to confirm that it's you trying to register back an account, and then that's a yeah. nightmare process. Yeah. So really protect your stuff, guys. We're yeah. with you. Like with there's you. no way that we can transfer your assets. That's a core thing that you need to know. Is right, right. They're yours. You own them, right? They're in your wallet. It's decentralized in in nature. So if somebody, if you give someone else access to your wallet, then they have access. But you, like, we're never gonna ask for that access. We don't want that access. Right, so if right. you have a problem, we there's not a lot we can do. Like the assets that you lose on the blockchain, you have lost. So be super safe, for sure. Anyway, it's been my right. pleasure, Conrad. Uh, Z419, if you want that question answered, yes, we are on the stream, 7 a.m. We're here each and every day. Uh, it would be starting at 5.30 a.m. your local time. So if you want to come back and hang out with us, do more. Tomorrow, we'll be back with more. You can ask us all the questions that you like, and if you have a game you'd like us to play, feel free to submit it to us again over on twitter.com slash thevisionex or at radcondad on Twitter as well. Chat great time pump it up and we'll see you soon he's gonna beat me up guys he's gonna beat me up he's wilding today i'm not so crazy today oh wow got that extra sugar chat yeah, i gotta only... yeah. I gotta, I gotta... <laughs> get out of here guys you're out of Have here. Have a great Get day. Get the heck out of here. We're going to raid somebody while we're on the intermission screen chat, so stick with us on Twitch.tv oh, if there's it. somebody streaming the same back game. We'll raid him in a sec.